Welcome back everybody, Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with vectors. So given that three times the vector x plus vector y minus two times the vector z equals zero, we're also told vector x is equal to negative four b c, vector y is equal to a negative three and c, and vector z is equal to negative a 10 and b, we have to determine the values of a, b, and c. Right, so a lot going on here. So let's rewrite this main equation. So three times vector x plus vector y minus two times vector z equals zero. And now notice for vector x, y, and z, we could plug in the component form. So instead of having these sort of uh, horizontal brackets, I like to show it vertically. So negative four b and c. So this is vector x here, right? So I just rewrote this in vertical form, plus vector y. So we got a negative three and c for vector y, minus two times vector z, which is negative a, 10, and b. And that has to equal zero. So this is like zero, zero, and zero. This is like the zero vector. There should be actually an arrow up there, technically. And now notice we can create equations here. So we can create an equation for all the x values. So basically 3 times negative 4, that is negative 12, plus a. Negative 2 times negative a is uh, 2a is equal to 0. And then we can create a equation for all the y values. So 3 times b is 3b plus negative three is like negative three minus 20 equals zero. And then we'll have C plus C plus B. So basically C plus, or sorry, rather, um, you gotta multiply this three here by the C. So that would be three C plus C minus two B equals zero, like that. Right, so I think I got all the equations written down properly. And now we just have to solve with these three equations for A, B, and C. So notice that it's pretty easy to solve for A with this equation. So if we simplify, we'll have negative 12 plus 3A equals zero. Then we could bring the negative 12 over, divide both sides by three, we'd get an A value of four. So an A value of four, and then notice we could solve for b here as well. So we'd have 3b minus 23 equals zero, right? These are like terms here. They become minus 23. So bring the negative 23 over, divide both sides by three. b is 23 over three. So you got an a value of four, b value of 23 over three. And then with this equation here, this would simplify to 4c minus 2b is equal to zero. Notice how we could divide both sides by two, right? Divide everything by two to simplify it. So this, let's actually rewrite this over here. So we'll have 2c minus b equals zero. And then notice we could plug in 23 over three for b. So we'll have 2c minus 23 over three is equal to zero. So that means 2c equals 23 over three. And then when we divide both sides by two, that's like multiplying it by one over two. So we'll have c equals 23 over three divided by two is 23 over six. So c is 23 over six, b is 23 over three, a is four.